Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks when feet and preparation combine The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Ryle representing for I just star mindset Rich forever Blessed love, pleasant good afternoon Good evening, warm welcome um, I want to greet the item in the divine name of his imperial majesty Emperor Eel Selassie I the first, Empress Menin the first, Holy Emmanuel I, King Selassie I Ja, Rastafari. Warm welcome, beautiful viewers and subscribers. One more day above ground, as the item know, life is our ultimate position. Zin, not no greater than life, no matter what go on. All right, so give thanks. Um, I would urge the item to um please push that like button all right please like the video it's important and if it's the first time the item tuning in on the platform the item could please subscribe zin um hit that notification bell twice so whenever time we are on the platform or on the ras farm the item can be notified all right so give thanks again and um before we introduce our special guest today all right, I just want to um, share this with the item quick and fast. See it? Yes, I. For thousands of years, humans have been searching, studying the plants around us, working to create herbal healing solutions, blended with the best from Mother Nature a gateway to healing and a better life. This is the answer. Yes, I, the answer, yeah, man, by the honorable, right honorable priest, Kailash. Yeah, man, make sure so you have the answer. Check him out on um, uh, his Instagram page. So, you know, I think you will get a lot more information there. All right, so today, we have a very special guest all the way from um, Anzania, Zane, otherwise known as uh, South Africa. Zane, we have a special guest from the Ethiopia Africa Black International, Ethiopia Africa Black International um, Church of Divine Salvation. Zane, uh, we have the Honorable Priest Advar from the South Africa branch blessed love honorable priest blessed love my lord honorable god honorable prophet majesty love love blessed love my lord it's um it's an honor and a pleasure to have the high here and um, the platform today good to hear the advice yes my lord one perfect heart of love, you know. And give thanks also, you know, to be on this platform, my lad. You know, give thanks for the audience, uh, listeners, all who's in attendance, all who's around the eye. You know, we give thanks for this day, life, health, and strength. And we give thanks for the mighty, mighty, mighty life giver, God, and three persons, our prophet, Mighty Marcus Gavi, our priests, you know, Emperor King Emmanuel Charles Edwards, the High Priest Melchizedek, and our King, you know, Emperor Eli Selassie, I, the first, you know, yeah, man, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, conquering Lion of the Tribe of Judah, Light of God, Light of this World, His own Divine Majesty, Emperor Eli Selassie. I, and we give thanks for Her Majesty Empress Menin Aspa, you know, father and mother of creation, King Alpha and Queen Omega. And we give thanks for all royal sons and daughters of the Black Christ and the Black family, all Ethiopian Israelites. I and I, Selassie, I, Ja, Rastafari. My Lord, 
Majesty. Majesty. Yes, yes sir. God. Yes, honorable priest. Yeah, man. Give thanks again, you know, for the forward in, you know. Yes, Bubba. All right. Um, I know the eyes in it, um, South Africa. No, I mean, I said Ethiopia, as you know, uh, the continent once called Ethiopia, still, you know. So I said, please, you know. Um, we 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 are um, the I uh, grew up in Jamaica, my lad. Where's the I from in Jamaica? Mm. Yes, my lad. Like well, before we get into that, I just wanted to say, my lad, you know, we give thanks for you know King Emmanuel Charles Edwards, you know, the Black Christ in flesh. As I was saying, it's the EABIC, the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress, True Divine Church of Salvation, my lord, you know. You know, and we give thanks for this Congress still, well, which was formerly at 54B Spanish Town Road, but now headquartered and situated at 10 Miles Bull Bay, St. Andrew, Jamaica, you know. So we give thanks, you know. For our worthy founder, our leader, our God and King, the most right honorable King Emmanuel Charles Edwards, you know, the black Christ in flesh. And yes, my lad, it, we're in South Africa, you know, but it's not a branch, you know, of the Congress, but, um, you know, it's a free state within Africa where presently, you know, you do have some Bobo Shanti members. You know, and we'd love to establish a branch, you know, in the near future. You see, but for now, we're still on that path of establishing something for the people, for the congregation, you know, here in the Sadek region, you know. So we're, we're hoping very short, you know, shortly, you know, coming, you know, that we can be, you know, established as a branch. But for now, Yes, my lad. We're more running like as an office, you know? Holy money, well, I? Selassie, I. Selassie, I. Ja. Rastafari. My lad. Yeah, my lad. So, to, to answer the I question still, I born in Bethel Town, you know, Cornwall, Montego Bay, you know? I grew up in Bethel Town, Lambs River, you know, in the countryside there, you know? between Montego Bay and Negril, you know, on the mountain top there. Yes, my lord, you know. So that is where I, I reincarnate my lord, you know, you know, in, in that place there, you know, Bethel Town. You know, the my hills. Lord. Mm. There I know Westmoreland, my lord. I, yeah, I know Westmoreland, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, you know, Bethel Town. Uh, not really still. Uh, not yeah, really, yeah, 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 not really still. I, pr I probably do, but, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, Bethel, you know, Beth, you know, the house of God, you know, Bethel and, you know, Lambs River, you know, is where I'm on father, rise in Lambs River, you see? Yes, Tata. See, so the, 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 the I father is the Rastafari as, as well? No, you know, I, I man see I know father more like as I was shown there he was a, a journalist, he's a journalist, you know. Yeah. Investigative journalist, you know. But not like a a Rasta man the weird, you know, but still as a conscious man. True. You know what I mean? But it, yeah. Yeah. See so conscious to a, a, a point, you know what I mean? Yes, Judge. Yes, yeah. I. Yes, my lord. Give thanks. So, what, what, what it was like for the I, you know, I grew up in a in a Bethel town, you know, as a as a youth man. Oh, my lord. Well, it was a joyful time still, you know, as a youth. Cause I, I I leave, you know, Jamaica pretty early, you know, as a young youth, you know, going back and forth, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, man, but, but it was rough, you know, because it was in the 70s, um, early 80s, you know. 
Yes, my lad. So there was things going around you where you never to understand at them time there, you know? Like what? Yeah. Well, political war, you know? GLP and PNP, you know? See? Going at that time. To, you know, your family in politics and them thing there, you know? Enough things, you see it? I go on the same way, you know? I think them thing yes, there was just a, a Spanish town and a Kingston thing, and I never know say all in at them places. Eh. <laughs> no, serious. Yes, my lad. Yeah, because it, it, I just according to your your people, them, you know, mm-hmm. what them involved in, you know. Yeah, cause yeah, people may not too involved in our politics in our countryside, but you you have people involved in it, you know. Um, yeah. my lord, but the, otherwise, the 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 I use in a earpiece. Was... Well, not no, I'm on is on a speakerphone, you know. Okay, because what it, it um sometimes the eye is high, which is the right um um uh, volume, and then the next time it drop way down, you know. So that's why I'm just uh inquire still why 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 it do that, you know? Cause the eye come up high and then the eye come down low, you see. And My lord, you like no a while ago when you speak, you're low, you see me? Yeah, so. Oh. Yeah. Well, we are going to try to keep yeah. up the volume, my lad, because sometimes you have the network in and out, you know? All right, that's the eye for the right, that's how when you talk a while ago. You see me? Yeah, the eye was coming through crystal clear. Yes, Bobo. So the eye was, yeah, the eye was saying, um, you know, I just where the eye family they might have been involved with at the time, you know? Yeah, we never to understand them thing at the time still. Mm. And more when you grow up, you know, you kind of, you see it. But as a youth, it was it was joyful, my lad. You know, peaceful, you know. You know, the school vibes and going to school and, you know, it's probably the only little hazardous part of it. But otherwise, growing up was, was you know, joyful as a youth, you know, in Jamaica, you know. River and... Key and feel and all of them something. Shoot, bro. <laughs> yes, my love. We get the whole like the whole naturality, you know, our life, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it was a healthy lifestyle, you know. Yeah, although we never I do the thing the full, you know, we within the order, you know. But you know, same way. But we never have no complaint the way there, you know. Yeah. True. True, true, true. And all the, all the schooling part go for the eye. Yeah, well, in, in Jamaica, I leave pretty early, my lad, to go into the, you know, the Americanas, you know. Yes, my lad. So, schooling was, was blessed, you know. Yeah, man, we were still excelling, you know, still doing good in school, you know. Mm. Yes, my lad, you know. And then we went to the, 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 the Canada day, you know, and continued the school in the same way, you know. Yes, my God. All right. Zane, so what 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 year did I reach over in Canada? Yeah, like I was going on forward in my lad, you know. Cause I feel the first time I reached Canada was four. See. You know? And then I feel I, I forward in again and I leave again around should be around eight, you know? Yeah, and then we forward in again and you see Gilbert come again and we have to leave again and you know, in and out, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Yeah my Where's lad. So we, right? we travel a few times there and you know, back and forth my lad. You see? But we spend a good while, you know, from we around 15 to around 20 in Canada, you know, and, you know, some of the earlier, like 11 and 12, you know, 13, yeah, we spend them kind of years in Canada, and, you know what I mean, from around 8 to 9 to 10, you know, yeah, so 
really only reached between between when I was 10 and 11 is when we went there for Gilbert and Gilbert kind of was rough so we couldn't stay long so we had to leave again so we end up stay a good time in Canada you know yeah for most of them you know years there you know between 10 and 20 you know so um, you know, we stayed a good year yeah well, what, good time in Canada what was that experience like now you know as a, as a teenager you know in a Canada you know going in your 20s well my lad it was it wasn't easy you know I never had it easy in in, in those places to tell that the truth you know yeah you know what i mean so it was hard my lad you know and to to adjust to the canadian way was not easy adjustment as a youth you know you see it my lad so you know also we never had too much had a good mentoring because you know the ghetto the ghetto lifestyle you know if you don't have the real mentoring and the father dear and the father figure you know, you, you tend to, like with, with grandparents, would I say, you know, take up bad company, you know, and work with bad company, you know. But we never knew it was bad company. It was just, you know, our people, you know, in the in the, in the the community, you know. Yeah. So we just did things, my love, we get me in trouble, you know, at an early age, you know. So, yeah, from, from man all at 13, you know what I mean, man incarcerated and, you know, yeah my lad so we never we never really have it you know so nice in canada you know what i mean as as in jamaica mm. coming from westmoreland you know what i mean yeah rastafari rastafari yes my lad and um the 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 the, the i feel sir because you, you you have this stereotypical um vibe in the west with black youths zine especially in 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 america you know canada and and and, and england and, and these um so-called first world countries you know there's a there's a stigma you see like um you know black youths you know keep adding to 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 this stereotypical thing where you know they are always involved in, in in crime and you know getting incarcerated at 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 a young age you, you feel like the i did add to that um statistic yeah. well yeah they would have, they would have tried to put us on that you know in that stats like you know um self destructive you know what i mean yeah, minister society and you know, yeah, we you know we're in a broken home and you know, yeah, and when you know from the projects and you know, we're we're black from Jamaica, you know, and you understand, but it's it's all a part of the system that is um, premeditatedly put together that way. But mm -hmm. we we never understood that, nor our parents. Car, true. If many of our parents didn't know. Oh, they really set up, you know, you know, for for black people to migrate to these places. They probably would have let them stay in Jamaica, but they made Jamaica look a hell to, you know, mm -hmm. make it feel like a look a hell to. If you make people want to run away to a worse a hell, you yeah, understand? So true. You know, what I mean, like I say, it wasn't hell for I at that moment, but maybe others, you know, were born up in age and as you. Yeah your caregiver or you know what I mean just your your you know your parents then probably would have feel it that like them place it better at that time. But they never understood the whole setup. You know, yeah, coming from a, a class or you know to a, a lower class, put to a lower class and being tested upon, you know. Mm. And being, you know, in that kind of environment where, you know, they're just you know what I mean? Like, it's a project. You know, like I say, many of us grew up in the projects, so the running projects and experiments, and we never really understood, say, we were the lab rats. Mm, 
Mm -hmm. You understand, being being worked upon. You understand? My love. Yeah. So we thought, yeah, maybe, you know, yeah, like you, you get to think like, you know, that is who you are. And, you know, eventually you're going to just live and the outcome is debt and you never have no value on debt, you know? You know, so through the lack of knowledge of knowing ourselves before, you understand, we enter these places. We never knew where the gods and the goddesses, you know, are creation. And, you know, we were the African slave children. We never knew we full history, enough, enough things, you know. So we went in there like some blind dummies, Jaja, you know, coming from Jamaica, most of us, you know, to these places like we're going into some better off place. But in all actuality, it's a worse, a hell. You understand? Mm. So for I man, it was it was a hellish upbringing in 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 Canada. Still, you yeah. see, it went on normal. You know what I mean? Compared to to maybe other youths or them get it. So even in other in other ghettos or the projects where I grew up, I you know I was one of them youths where you know like you know get it the worst in the ghetto. You know what I mean? Yeah, as a youth, you know, we shouldn't have to go through them thing there, you know? Yes, my lord. My lord. Majesty. So, um, how, how did Rastafari, you know, how, how did that start it for the eye? Because I guess the eye was in Canada while, while you know, that the, the, the eye recognized yourself now. Well... Um, I man was just a Rasta man at heart, but I never knew the, the whole thing, you know. So I had to really know everything to get a, a full understanding of Rastafari. Right? So uh, I say that to say, my lad, like um, I had to go through a lot, you know, and to see many sides before even Ayman submitted to Rastafari. But Rastafari was always who I, I was. And it was like, um, you know, like it was what would surround me, you know. It's what I gravitated to, you know. But <laughs> I just never knew, say, as a Rasta man, you know what I mean? I never knew I was like a freedom fighter. But, you know, that, that freedom fighting spirit would have more make you like a rebel. Mm. You understand? So, you know, Rastafari was born like a rebel in the society anyhow. You know what I mean? So it just grew one eye still. Cause I, I brother, the brother before I is a bubble. In, in, in we're a turban from him at 12, you know? And my my big cousin is a, is a, is a 12 tribe virgin, you know? Rastoni is a 12 tribe. And I grew up in Jamaica around Rasta, you know? So Rasta and I, we yard, you know, I cook food and, you know, yeah, my lad. So it's just a thing where we used to, my lad. So we were bridging them. Everyone grew up with that kind of Rasta vibes, you know what I mean? So, you know, our community, most of I and I, we gravitated to the Rasta vibes. So we were more Rasta people, you know, but we never knew. So I man did have to go through everything and find King Emmanuel, you know what I mean? And when I find King Emmanuel, then, you know what I mean? Because it just confirmed who I was still, you know what I mean? And I just submitted, you know what I mean? But, yeah, that's what made I am on, I am on really, you know, see I am on self still. It's King Emmanuel, you know, Charles Edwards, you know, Black Christ in flesh, you know? Yeah, but I am on, I am on really check up Rastafari from, I am on, like, in 17, you know, I man was in um, I man was in Montreal, Canada, you know, um, Quebec City, and I man did get um, you know, like caught up with some some running, some business, and the police them man find I man self in a holding holding cell. So <clears throat> while I was in the holding cell, now I was just showing the police them say I don't eat certain things now you know like i'm a vegetarian you know you see but you know they wouldn't really show i that respect because they must say no this is not ontario this is not toronto you know a quebec you're in and we don't deal with those things you see 
But true, we know say more time when we go on at them places, so you have to try to get the best meal, you know. So I'm on show them say so I don't eat those things. I'm a vegetarian, you know. So they wouldn't give I no respect. So they just come and bring I them polony thing and you know what I mean sandwiches. <laughs> I man refuse to eat them thing there, you know. Cause they all bring um chips and meat from I think Burger King and them thing there, and I refuse to eat them thing there, you know. You see it so. While I was in the, the cell now, there was two two other brethren and they had locks. You see it and um these brethren them I I, I I think I hear to them come from. You see it, if I'm not mistaken still. Yeah. And um I had some some sandwiches and I saw them with some cookies. You see it, so I approached them and asked them if they would have traded the cookies for the sandwiches, you know. Which they gladly took because you know it was it was no food you see it and it was little cookies you know mm -hmm. so I I from there did see I myself as a as a I check I myself and say you see them my ball head you know and these man things say me not know what I go on but me knows everything you understand confidently within myself say I'm a rasta youth you understand so when I I check that my lad I say say no man from here on in after just be myself, you know? Yeah, so from that time, I started to lax seriously, you know? Yeah, my lord, you know? So that is when I was around 17, you know? Yes, Majesty. Rastafari. Yes, I. Yes, my lord. So true, um, true. talk to me about um, the, 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 the realization now of the you know the black Christ and you know going going to Bobo Hill. Yes, my lad. Well, like as me show you, as a youth, we always a seek, always a pray. You know, Cause even from Bethel Town, I'm on you know grew up in the church. I look, you know, yeah. Every Sunday we have to go to church, and you know we have to pray before we go to bed, and you know what I mean. So I man from my youth was always praying, you know, before I go to bed and, you know, yes, my lord, even when I go do some bad things out there, I come in and I, I pray, you know, I make sure, you know, just use understanding with I, you know. So I man never did a pray for the father to, to reveal himself because I knew, say, my God wasn't, because like I said, test the European, you know. And I say, say the God where the matter about not true, because I say, say, the European them really never had no love for I and I, you see it? Yeah. My and Lord. I check even the Arabs them and I see say the Arabs them. As a young youth, you know, my lad, I come to this realization and say, no, there is a God, but it's none of these God where them are taught about, you know what I mean? So I'm mm. I'm an always a prayer to the Almighty God that He will reveal me, you know, make I know him. You know what I mean? Even when you know, my brother locks up and I'm 10 and he's 12 and he might wear a turban and them thing there, you know. I never just so run to quick to follow him, you know, because I, I, I try to make sure I ask questions and, you know, I check everything thoroughly, you know. So although he was a bubble youth and, you know, I'm, I'm with him same way, but I never just quick to follow him, you know, even as a young youth, you know. So I had to check these things for him and self, my lad. You see, so, yeah, I just keep praying to the Father that he's going to reveal himself to I. And true, like I say, I go in, you know, I get myself in, in, in many troubles, you know, as a young youth, you know. So I get time to really get time for myself and, and read my Bible and, you know, yes, my life, you know, get for, for build myself, for, for, you know, for know what the Bible is talking about and, you know, for pray, you know, harder, you know what I mean? And if you even tell you, hey man, you know, if you get me out of these places, you know what I mean? I man will forever. You understand? I serve the eye. You understand? Yeah. But more time I I, I, I am, um, like to say, I touch road and I get back into some same troubles, my lord. You see it? Because it's like I, I forget my oath or my word to the Father. You see it? Uh, yeah, so I was always in that back and forth with the father, me and the father struggling, saying, no, man, all right, because as always a youth, we are EMI, you know? Yeah, if you say, no, we have to get millions of dollars in this, you know? 
he has always aiming eye out there in the world to to be successful you know yes my lord so sometimes i i touch road and you know I have to do my thing ja. i have to do what i know to do and you know how to get by you know so more time them them ways they again get I in trouble you see my lord so yeah it's the black supremacy book still you know yeah we're really because even as a youth like i say from 17 you know i man start with a turban around 18 you know so 19 20 you know yeah coming up them time the same way i man is wearing turban but i never knew the order you know i just know that you know i was convinced you know yeah everything where you know, I found so far it lead I to this way, you know, the turban way, the Rastaman way, you know what I mean? But I never knew King Emmanuel, my lad, to that degree. I more knew, you know, my brethren them and the music, you know, in the music, Kiputan and Sizzle and Anthony B and, you know, yeah, listen to Bob Marley and, you know what I mean? So I them think they're kind of whole eye, but I never knew King Emmanuel, my lad, you understand? So just researching now doing the researching car when i when i um when i was around 21 you know i was doing another seven months you know behind bars sentence you know and facing some more time so i link up with a brethren you know and arranged my life uh he was he was doing around three years you know and he did have a black supremacy book. You see, my lad, and having that black supremacy book now, we get to read, you know? Yes, my lad, and we read up on the book. So as we were defending Bobo Shanti, we never knew fully what Bobo Shanti was because, we, like I said, there are different influences, influencing I, you see it? So, yeah, that, that, that year now is the year that I say when I come out, when I touch road, I'm going to investigate this man and research this man. You see, research Marcos Giavi and research Selassie, I, you know. But it really was Marcos Giavi I first started to research, you see. But within that, that cell now, while I was confined, doing I'm on sentence, my lord, I was... um. I declare that no man, you know, um, my first son was born and um, I wanted to not, for him to grow up like how I grew up, you know, without having that mentorship, you know, that that man when could have turned to the ox, all right, who is God and get the right answer, you see. So true, I knew who was God now at that time that I thought I knew who was God. I decided to make a, you know, the change, you know, from the wrong to the right. You see, because I, I declare that, no, the way my, the crossroads where I was right now was in Ivory. And I did see that, no, when I touch road again, you see that I'm going to be the, the, the worst, the most, because I'm not a person to, to be in the middle, you know. Yeah, I'm going to be the, the most dangerous person you ever meet. You know, or you never want to meet, or I'm going to be the most righteous person, you know, but no half, no in the middle, you know, no in between, you know. I'm either going to be righteous or I'm going to be wicked. You see it, my lord, you know. So I decided I man is not a wicked man. I man is a righteous man. So I chose righteousness. I chose that no, I'm going And when I do righteousness, I'm not going to go back. I'm not, you know, in between thing like, you know, I'll like we're not cool. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you see that I'm going to be terrible, wicked, my lord, or I'm going to be terrible, righteous. My you see? Lord. So I decided to say I'm going to be on the righteous side, you know. I'm going to be a soldier for Jah in his army, you know. So, yeah, when I touched road, my lord, I, me and the brethren that I was um, reading the Black Supremacy book with, um, we were about to get out around the same time, but I get out first, you see. So I was waiting on him, but while I was waiting on him, I was researching. So I was, you know, 
still gathering, you know, with any Rastas, because I'm was a youth ever seeking, but I love Rastafari, I respect Rastafari, you know, and all of my brethren, them, we respect Rastafari, no, no matter what, you see, yeah, but I man go around 12 tribe, I man go around, you know, ones and ones seeking, so I never see, I never like what they were defending because I man was leaving those world, you know, leaving the world of alcohol, leave, leaving the world of cigarette, leaving the world of, you know, to come to a, a holy thing. So when I go amongst them more time, even if it's Bible studies, I see the man them a pop Heineken and smoke cigarette. And that wasn't me, my lad. I was leaving those world, you know, so I was seeking, you know what I mean? Because I, I was sure it's Rastafari, but... I wasn't sure, like, I wasn't, I wasn't knowing that, hey, it has all these things I have to go through to find a way, you know? So one time, my brother, you know, through him knows I was a militant youth and I was a, a Rastafari youth with Love Bobo Shant. He heard that there was a, a gathering of some of the the, 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 the the members of the Congress in Toronto, you know, so... He gave I a number for one of the brethren them, a prophet that time, Honorable Prophet David, you know what I mean? And I linked the prophet and I reasoned with the prophet and I'm sure I said yes, they're gathering. And I, I was welcome, you know, I was invited and, you know what I mean? So, yeah, but through the research now, as I was seeking this man, King Emmanuel, because everything add up when I, when I researched King Emmanuel, I learned about the Sabbath. Because I first went to Marcos, like at the internet still, I'm, I'm telling you about researching hard on the internet, you know, just having time for myself to research and just taking it serious, you know. Marcos Giavija, research Marcos Giavija, research Marcos Giavija. And then I, I hear about the prophecy of Ethiopia, because I kind of already knew about Haile Selassie, you know. And then, you know, even with Sizzla now, with... um some of these recording of Bobo Shanti. I research Bobo Shanti. I get to know about King Emmanuel. I never knew there was a King Emmanuel in Bobo Shanti. I learned King Emmanuel, the Black Christ. So I said, who is this man? Then this man again, come and tell me about Marcus Giave, my lad. I said, I said, what? You see, because I knew, yo, this man Marcus, had already convinced me like this man is like, wow. You see, Majesty, who is this man? I, how come I don't, I'm just learning about this man? And then I hear King Emmanuel talk about Marcus Gavi, Marcus Gavi, a God. I said, what? Then I see now King Emmanuel, I said, Sabbath, my Lord. And I know I read, I know about the Sabbath in the Bible, not, not knowing no, no, no church and, but just reading the Bible and reading the precepts and the statues and, you know, getting that time to study the Bible. Yeah, I said, no, this man, as a Rasta man, is saying the Sabbath. No, man, I have to know more about this man. So it's what really made me focus on Bobo Shanti, you know, even deeper. So when I, I link up with the prophet now, yeah, I managed to go to the place where they were gathering. And from going in there now, my lord, and, you know, at that time was prophets being allowed to keep up the service as there, there was no priest. So the gathering was being administered by the, the prophets them, you see. it. So I went in there, my lord, as a visitor, and I, I see my brethren that now I was in, incarcerated with, you know, at least me and I was, you know, on the same range and at the same time. And I said, what, well, my lord, there is here, my lord. <laughs> So it's like I was shocked because, you know, we're, I was thinking me and this man, we're going to chat this thing together when him come out. And, you know, if I find it, I'm going to make him know. And when he find it, he's going to make I know, you know, because Bobo Shanti we say, you know. And I, I was shocked to see the brethren there still, but I was happy, you know, that he was there. So he's telling me this is his second time. So he was going to link I, but you know what I mean? You know, it go my lad, so. And you know, I was there, my lord, and I get the corrections, you know, we not do this, we, we, you know, we not do that, and, you know, we, we, we don't wear this, and we don't wear that, and I said, oh, I give thanks, and, you know, take out the correction, and go on the service, and, you know, so while I was in the service, like, you know, I was convinced, you know, that I, I'm in the right place, car. 
it give me that 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 feeling you know yeah that no uh, you know you know when you seek for something and you find it you know say you find it you know yeah you glorify you know so yeah man when you seek you find so i did find what i was seeking for and i i i, I give our glory to the most high you know for that day that I could have entered into his service, you know, and to see his angels ministering, my Lord, and the Naya Bingi, you know, the Naya Bingi there, you know. Yes, my Lord. So it was a glorious moment for Iman still, you see. Honorable. My Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. So talk to me about We're now the, going the, to Bobo Hill now, yeah, my Lord. Uh, yeah, man, continue. Go through. Go through, Bobo. Go through. Yes, God. So... Yeah, as you have said, when we first go to Bobo Hill, it was 2003 celebration, um, going up to the, the Christmas, 2004, you know what I mean? So I took a, a break from, from the, the slavery, because that time I was working in um, another company, and I took a two-week break, you know, yeah, to go down and uh, <clears throat> to go up to Bobo Hill. You know, so I went up there with that prophet, Prophet David, the version that I tell you I get his number, and I link him and he invited I to service. Yeah, that same version, me and him go up on the hill together, my lord. And um, what we we were staying in a place called Arbor, uh, Arbor View. Yeah, Arbor View by um, Kingston there, the south of the city. And, you know, yeah, we would make our way up to Bobo Hill, so... Yeah, man, the first time up on Bobo Hill was a joy, my lad. And, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just to step into the, the courts, my lad, you see it. And, you know what I mean? Just to, yeah, just to be welcome in, my lad. And, yes, my lad. It was like, um, you know, like what I say, like, you know, like all of our desires come into, you know, to manifestation, my lad. So, yeah, man, that time was a great time, that celebration, you know, was a great time with all the angels at that moment, you know, up on the hill, my lord, you see it, yeah, so, although it was, it was, it was, it was, you know, on one side, like, uh, because the first time I go up there, you know, it's like, um, I never settled in fully, um, I still had to go get something to eat, so I went down to the road, so when I went down to the road now, and um, some bread, you know, coming back up now. It's like they went with us and they're coming back up. Yeah, if I remember well, you know what I mean? But when we're coming up now, we've had that feeling like these bread, in, like them are tax way, you know? You see, because the way them check I and I, you know, for some strength. So, you know, through, you know, settling, you know, really to work with no strength. So I just pop off a thing and say, you know, my lad, you know? So it's like the man... At that time, we received the strength. He wasn't so, like, grateful, you know? <laughs> that like, sure if it was, like, a hundred dollars, but it was a bill, you know? Yeah, but it's like, he want a nanny, yeah. So, the virgin, I said, no, all right, give my nanny. So, I said, all right, my lad, I can't do that because I'm working with the strength, but through, me not really know them people here, my lad. We can't just pull out... All I strength out I pocket me kinda, you know, timid to deal with the thing on the spot, you know. So the bridge and I put me on the spot and show me say no if you fi give the bridge and them a thing. So me I said, All right, my love, I go give them a thing, but I want to hear a thing still and I pop out the next thing and give them a thing and but to the vibes was I wasn't really I wasn't really feeling it, my lord, you know. And um I was feeling I, was, I wasn't feeling respected, you know? Yeah, so I just had to block a prayer, my lad. You know, I just went into the bushes by myself and just block a prayer before I go into the hill car. I have to find a way to really, you know, calm calm my spirit, you know? Yeah, just to, to find a way to talk to my God. So choose a youth where love prayer, you know? I just pray to my father and just ask him to strengthen me, you know? Yeah, just strengthen me and, you know, don't let, you know, just let me be, you know, like the person, you know, you would want me to be. And, you know, I, I don't want to, you know what I mean? Do nothing to mess this up. You know what I mean? Yes, my lad. So 
I just calmed myself and I prayed. So that prayer, my Lord, it, it did a lot for I. Um, I was feeling, you know, car. Yeah, I, I see those virgins. They weren't good virgin overall. You see it? Yes, my Lord. So I see these people like they were trying to pray, and I, you know, as a visitor coming in, you know what I mean. So I had that kind of struggle up on the hill, my Lord, the first time, you know what I mean, going up there. You see, man trying to to search my suitcase and. You know, me having to hide my money and have my money in my socks and, you know what I mean, having to confront even priests and, you know, ask them why they must search my thing. Uh, you understand? Because mm -hmm. sometimes a man thinks, uh, you know what I mean, like, you know, no, you know, like you come in with your guards and dung, you know, but you as a, as a, as a youth where I feel like um, I have common sense, you know. Yeah, and I kind of have an understanding how Jamaica run and how also, you know, like um, even foreign run. You know what I mean? I wasn't a youth, which was just so, so easy neither, you know? So, yeah, man, come in for me, honorable um, prophet. One night time, the first time I go there, I'm holding pan at the whole night. You see it uh, and get get um, relieved, you know what I mean? And I uprise in the federal call and Go all a look rest, you know what I mean? And so me I go all a rest now. A man coming for me, but through all my eyes, them sometimes it, it squinty. Sometimes you you don't even know my eyes are open, but they're open, my lad. You see, cha. Mm -hmm. And you could all uh, look for me and think, say me a rest. So me just did that. And me see a man coming, my lad, and him think, say me a rest. And me just go and hold it and watch him. And me see the man I go through me back, my lad. And me say, wow. But the money in my socks, uh, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just watch him neatly, my lord, and my sister not take no hand and go away. And you know, I, I just confront him, because the man said, if you have a problem or a man trespass, you go see him face to face, you know what I mean? So I just confront the virgin face to face still, because I never want to really make a thing. And I said, my lord, my sister, there you go to me back, my lord. What kind of thing that as a priest, my lord? You see? And the man I say, yo, you, you know, yo, it's like he never have no remorse. The man say, man, a security, a man, a bubble police. And I say, my lad, bubble, no, what do you mean bubble police? Bubble, no, no police, my lad. You understand, because I know bubble, no spy, and bubble, no police. So them thing they, you understand, I just burn it out right away neatly and make him know, say, no, my lad, I know, I know so. No, you know what I mean? Because I know where I'm coming from, General. You see it? Mm -hmm. So I don't really want a man to play with me because I, I don't really want to, to... You understand, my lad? So I'm just trying to hold it, my lad. But you sometimes you just come in and a man look upon you as a little nerd. and You know what I mean? Like, and feel like him can take advantage. You see it? Yeah, so I just uh, make him know, say, my lad, I not deal with them thing there, you know, just true man, I try humble right now, my lad, you see? Yeah, because, you know what I mean? We are trying to save a life, my lad, mm -hmm. and we don't want to go back to the ways where we when things say, you know, because when we live part to 20, you know, King, we're surprised. When I reached 22 years old, I couldn't believe it. God told me, see my brethren, they might drop out, and, you know what I mean? Yeah, we couldn't believe it, my lad. Because we now want to look at war zone, you know? And we know the thing kind of set even in a Jamaica, my lad. And we now want, we just want to come to Jamaica peaceably, you know, in a peaceful manner. You see, because then reason why man really even send me out to Jamaica in the first place. You see, because them no want we get in a trouble, my lad. So when we come back in our place, we just uh, try to hold it now, you know what I mean? So my sister said the bridging never really have no remorse still. So I just can hold it in my lad and pray harder, you know. Yeah, but my sister said, I got a justice, you know, and him, him know how you know, you know what I mean? Like him see everything and know everything. I am in a, the heart of our flesh. You know, although I'm seated up in a sign in himself of self, I mean at the heart of our flesh. So I know everything, every inner thought, every secret. So we just pray to the Father and we see him do the works. So 2004 was a terrible year upon the ill even car. It's when the tabernacle blew down and, you know, enough 
gunman get run out and beat up, enough priests get beat up and man have to run for them life and you understand so yeah, come back a we are two thousand and four. You know what I mean? But um yeah, I give thanks for that one month because it was two weeks and it turned into one month. And um yeah, I man spend a good while, you know, some Sabbaths, maybe four Sabbath on the hill. And, you know, I give thanks for that moment, you know. And I spent some good time, you know, amongst the first priest where I man ever met still, you see it, which is Honorable Priest Murdoch, you know. And I, I was staying with that honorable priest, you know. And even the priest gave I I'm on blessing, you know, put a crown on I before I leave the island still, because the man the CIA worthy to be a prophet still. And, you know, before I, I fly out, you know, for that one month, the man put a crown on I in, you know. Yes, my lad. So I'm on the glorify that trip still, my lad, you know, cause you know, it was it was um a very powerful trip with strength in I and I feel even come forward cause I get a vision during that trip for sure I have to go to Africa. You see, my lad, and it was a powerful vision cause when I reach up on the hill a priest bless I with some herb, you know, and I said, No, I checked the priest, priest, where this herb come from? So my show me said, Yeah man, pan the hill top I said, What? You never know. I'm I say, Yeah man, I'm I said, Well, you never know so herb grew up here cause you know so Emmanuel no sanction herb to grow up on him. You see it? True. So me, me, me give thanks my lord and hold it as a precious gift. You know, as a real blessing and I try man come for learn and study. I man was into on the herb thing, you know. Yeah, and I say no, I'm gonna use this a special moment when I have a moment, you know, so I get a, a new pipe and you know, a, a brand new cup and I fit the cup to the pipe and get the, the, you know, the, um, the gritty and fitting the gritty nice and everything natural. And, you know, I, I share with ones and ones, cause ones and ones I check, I, you know, say, you know, burn your herb, your herb just did there and man, I check you and, you know, you have your blessed man, same way, my lord. And I just have a little herb still and I was going to the, the city with Priest Murdoch and Priest David, you know, and uh, we're going to the bloody city there, my lord, and we're passing through Arbor View, and um, we stop, you know, off at our next bridge and house, and the priest and gone and for, for greet the bridge, and the priest and the prophet at that time, and I man was on the, the wall there, and the, you know, outside the gate, and I say, yeah, man, this is the perfect time to cry, you know, have a moment for myself. My man is going to blaze this herb, my lord. And I, I prepare the herb, fit it in the cup, and I start to, you know, pull in the, 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 the herb smoke in our, in our bones, you know what I mean? And taking the whole thing on. My lord, you know, my lord, around not even two minutes yeah, I'm in a vision, my lad, and the vision now is like I'm, I'm I'm seeing my whole preparation to go to Africa. Yeah, I'm seeing my whole preparation from what I have to do, my next move, the whole strategy, everything that I have to do to go to Africa. So from that moment, I get like a stand, I get a vision where, you know, like you're awake, you know. Yeah, my lad, and it's like the father show me everything. It's like him, I say, you, you forgot your next move are Africa. This place done. You know what I mean? Mm. Yes, my lad, the West done. Because I was always planning to, to buy big, build up big house in Jamaica. And, you know what I mean? Yeah, go and retire in Jamaica early. And, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was at them big plans, my lad. And, yeah, when I went to Bobo Hill and when I come to Bobo, my perspective changed on Jamaica, you know. So it started pointing me to Africa. So that moment I get the whole vision from start to finish, oh, I'm going to go to Africa, you see. So I made my, my decision because I know things pulling me, go to America, stay in Jamaica. Man, I said, stay upon Bobo Hill. If you stay, you're going to get your priest in no time, my lord. And I saw man, I try to encourage me and I say, yeah. 
No nah, man, after I get that vision, my lad, it was just cemented, you know, I'm going to Africa, you know. Yes, my lad, so it was a powerful trip, my lad, you see. Yes, General. Rastafari, wow. <laughs> yeah, see your testimony, my lad. Yes, I yeah. see your testimony. But yet, you know, when we did one for you dying at the interim, I think still. Um, the process of the eye getting, um, like your, 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 your profit, you know, becoming a pros a profit and thing and, and getting crown and, um, and, and the time where it takes for, for, for be anointed as, as a priest, you know, maybe the one for the eye for kind of, kind of just touch touch um them two little topic they still you know the the process for the eye of you know getting getting the, the eye crown crowning as a prophet and then the process of um getting anointed as a priest yeah well you know the process for i man still was the building you know i started building with the angels them in, in toronto my lord and like I say, you know, from as a young youth, I managed around Bobo. And, um, you know, not things wasn't fully new to I, but the other was, you know, when you reach the other car, it's different than just being around Bobo or people say them are Bobo. You know what I mean? Than going around the, 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 the crown prophets, them, or the real members, them, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, growing up and, and, in, a, in you know, like um, in some some of these communities, you know, it's like Western Road and and Lawrence and some of these communities, yeah, enough influence like a ionized young youth rise up as Bobo, but we never knew the other. We just as a government, but it was more radical in the street. You know what I mean? Like yeah, mix up the thing. You know what I mean? Like the streets and Rasta. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it wasn't that that we we're seeking for, you know what I mean? That's not what I was seeking for, you know? So I was seeking for that, you know what I mean? The, the, the true essence in the earth of the Almighty God. And I seen it in more in Rastafari. So when I come to Bobo Shanti, I, I start right away. I never worry about nothing. I just accepted everything. You see, my Lord, because I, 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 I went through everything. I was like, you will feel like I, I go through everything, my lad. Maybe there's nothing I never got through. You understand? So when I reached Bobo, I was just, um, you know, like convinced that this is the way, my lad, majesty. So I just started to participate and the man them allow me to participate and wear my turban and, you know what I mean? So I was doing things, you know, like... um. You know, like what the other prophets them were doing in no time because I, I come and I learned the thing fast, you know what I mean? And I you know, I I, I was urged, you know, like I, I take up on that thing you no know, man have to go a bubble hill, you know what I mean? So get serious with it, you know? Yeah, cause we have to go there where the priests them are and where the other is, you know. Yeah, so I wasn't just satisfied with just that thing in, in Canada, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and through one kind of familiarized with Jamaica already, we, you know, we just feel we never knew this thing is in our backyard. We never knew, like, Bobo, you know what I mean? We have to come to Canada and learn about this place, you see? So it was it was like, a, no, man, we have to go and see for ourselves, you know? So, yeah, it was a, a man where already I wear robe and turban, you know? And love it too, you know, and love the other, my lord, and co well committed, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I wasn't going there really for no long time. Like I said, it was two weeks and it turned out to be one month, you know. So I was just going to really see, you understand? So I went to see and I, you know, I know normally you're up on the hill, you did it for three months, you know what I mean? But it all understanding still, you know, a man coming from foreign or, you know, maybe he might fly out. You see, but I was there in a short term, so I never really knew I fully, you know what I mean? Like, all right, this priest is, this prophet is, or this virgin is, you know? Yeah, so I was just passing through because I was only there mostly Friday, Saturday, Sunday, on the Sabbath, you know what I mean? I go there for the Sabbath and 
normally come off the hill Sunday or Monday, you know. So, yeah, that was the local building for Ironman still. So, true, I was there with the ambassador now of, of Canada, you know, as a, as a virgin where me and him go up on the hill. And I, I was there with another priest where I was staying amongst now, you know, this virgin and this virgin, you know, side right, you know, to make higher profit, you know, before I fly out, you know. So, yeah, that, that is the process for Ironman still. You know, the virgin them felt that I, should, I shouldn't leave without getting such you know, crowning, so I glorify for that, you know, moment still, you know what I mean, and that recognition from the two virgin them, still, you know, although still I'm on would have prefer, you know what I mean, getting the time to spend on the hill still, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. but she was a passing through a man, I say Africa now, you see, yeah, can we come serious about the thing, you know, so the virgin strengthen I, my Lord, and bless I and I, you know, priest Murdoch and priest David, you know. Yeah, man. So that's how I get I'm on crown, you know, from the two, you know, virgin them same way. And, um, yeah, from, from that time I fly in, because when I go to Toronto now, I get a next vision. And <clears throat> while I was staying with the priest now, because, you know, we are, we are staying together uh, to try, you know, see if we strength and, you know what I mean? But I get a vision that me and the priest, you know, I get a vision, me and him is in Africa. That time is a prophet, prophet David. So I wake up out of the vision, my Lord. Well, I rise up out the vision and I, I go down where the priest was and I, 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 I show the priest that, yeah, you're going to be in Africa. So the virgin look at her, you know, and say, how do you know, my lord? And I say, I just have a vision and see me and the eye in Africa, my lord. And I I show the virgin the whole vision, all the vision go. You see it? Uh, you see it, my lord? So, mm. yeah, that vision was another mighty vision, you see? Yeah, so I show the virgin, yeah, me and you now are all in Africa, my lord. In a, you know, in a double story house, and the people come to I and I, and them disgruntled, you know, showing I and I said, These people are bothering them, some Italian people. So I said, What? I said, No, man, we have to go run out, them people here. So I just took it upon myself to go deal with these people, my lord, and I run out these people, you know. I just find myself coming forward, like, you know, the people, them singing and rejoicing, you know, like, oh, you know, when David had come from certain mission, you know, yeah, them just happy, my lord, and I rejoice, and I, and, and, um, yeah, man, from there, you know, I, I see and I self and I learn, you know, and like that place you now, we are gathered, you know, so it's that now that confirm it that no, man, truly, my lord, we're going to be in Africa, because we're, we're already on the mission to go to Africa, you see, but now we see ourselves in Africa, you see, cha? yeah, and I want to tell you what, dear, my lord, I see the land, and the house, and that same virgin come and visit I, my lord, in 2020, and I showed the virgin, my lord, you remember that vision, my lord, that I showed the I say, you're going to be in Africa, and he said, yes, and I said, my lord, I, I, my lad, I see the, the land, the land of the place that we're staying on is right over there, 20 minutes over there, my lad. And the house where I saw us in, the house is down there, another way, my lad. So I was, it's the house that really make I see, say, no, where do I see this house from? Because I'm, I'm like, it, 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 when I see the house, my lad, it's like I just gravitate, I want that house. I, who owns that house? So I asked the virgin, I was with my lord, my lord, who owns that house? You know who owns that house? And he said, yeah, but there's a next man that know the man. So I said, no, man, I need to know. I need that plan for that house. It's like, I love that house. I want to build that house, you see? But I don't know why I'm so in love with the house, my lord. Every time I go with the virgin, I'm asking him, yo, rich, find me the owner for that place. You know, so... A time come now where I'm, I'm wondering where I see this house from, where I know this house from. You see, until now I go see the land, my lord. And when I see the land, I remember the vision. 
You see it, and when I remember the vision, I remember the brethren say, no, man, everything, no. You see it, and this was 2020. So I said, no, my luck, uh, it's like, it's not, it's ja, it's mystical, you know, because it's like just send us here. You understand from Jamaica 2003 when I get that vision to when I reach in, in, in um, 2004 and when I'm in Canada 2004, I get that other vision. So it's what confirmed that no, because I was always saying, say, it's Ja that Senna and I here, you know, you see it. And this thing with South Africa, I find like from um, young Ja, I think I, I'm on father, cause like I said, I'm on father as a journalist, you know. And then get you want to start, by a uh, paper in South Africa, you know, and I was just, um, you know, like, I was just looking at, at this paper and, you know, I think that's the first time I hear about Mandela from my father, but as a young youth, you see, so this thing of South Africa and coming to South Africa is like, I was just convinced that, no, I'm not just coming here, though, it's me that want to come here, you know, but this thing is ordained, you know, this thing is... You know what I mean? Like destiny, my lad. You know, I have to be here, my lad. So, yeah, man, it's, it, it was a great powers to come in to, to get the profit and then to come into Africa. You know, even after that struggle, car, I go through a whole heap of struggle even to, to come into Africa. You know, till the day when I reach Africa, my lad, the poor Paul dead. That's why I can remember, you know, April 30, you know. Um, 2005 when poor Paul dead, my lad. When I touched on in Johannesburg, yeah, you see, it? yeah, that when when I I get the news after the Sabbath or on the Sabbath, it was on the Sabbath, it was the news that the Pope did die. So I was just feeling, say, so you see, this war that I just went through, my lad, you know, fasting and praying and man trying to rob you, and even in Canada, man trying to rob your money and missing the plane to come into Africa and, you know, even, you know, man, a thief on your computer and brand new laptop and whole heap of struggles, my lad, you see, cha? yeah, when I reach Africa, I know, say, no, man, I, this is like, you know, when, when the angels, them, I rejoice, like it's some great phenomenon just go on, you see it in other earth, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, so, the, 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 the vision and the realization and seeing the vision play out, my lad, in reality was just a confirmation in 2020. Say, no, man, yeah, you're on a divine mission, you know? Yeah, you're on a divine mission from King Emmanuel, Charles Edward. So, yeah, when I come in, my lad, I'm doing the profit work, you know? I'm, I'm you know, I hit the, the ground running, you know? I will come See. in to teach the thing, you know, and to do the thing like how we're doing it in the West. And we're serious about the thing and the Congress, we are defending it, you know. So, yeah, you know, well, it's a moment. Again, I leave Africa and then I have to come back in the West. And then I go to Bobo Hill again, 2008. And then I receive Ayman Priest as an acting priest on the hill. You know, I see them even priest Earl on them Monday, you know. I recall they had them ceremony there. And, you know, yeah, you know, so it's a great joy again, you know, to, because I get a next vision when I get my priest. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, I get a like vision a and they my lord. Yeah, Joshua, me say you have to go back in Africa, Ja. The man said, my lad, like, I get a vision to blocking me, my lad, saying you must go back to Africa. He's blocking me on the steps, going up, like, to the palace and say, no, <laughs> Africa. And I said, whoa, it's like my time here is done again. You see, it? so I reach in Africa again on a serious mission. The mission there was more to Mugabe, you know? Yeah, more Mugabe and Zimbabwe. So, you know, the, the first time I was in Africa is more in Botswana and South Africa. But the second time, I'm more spending Zimbabwe, you see, which was uh, another joy again, you see. So I had to go through a thing there in Zimbabwe, my lad, where it was in Irie, you know. You see it, and uh, fierce, uh, you know, like deportation, you know, because I overstayed, because I had a son in Zimbabwe, and 
you know, I was staying amongst some politician man. We invited to stay amongst them man. Him Empress was a, a Roman Christian, so I let them kind of know my movements. You know, say, yeah, man, man, I, I moved to South Africa to go deal with certain things because I found a breakthrough in Zimbabwe. I said, no, I'm going to renounce my citizenship of the West. Renounce Canada, renounce Jamaica, denounce it and take up the Zimbabwe citizenship. You see, my lad. Mm -hmm. So as an admission to South Africa, because we never had an embassy, because they show me everything I must do. And I find in myself, say, no, this is the only thing when you come home and um, in this situation as a freedom fighter, you understand, pan the back of field, in at the war, I, 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 it came to my conclusion that this was my, my way out, you know what I mean, to, to find a settlement until the time of redemption, repatriation, you know, freedom, you know what I mean, so... I said, no, man, this is what even our father and the United Nations are sure I and I. So I didn't know of this document still, but it's like I wasn't ready for that document the first time. But the second time coming in, I said, man, I'm more than ready. You understand? So I was on that mission because the first time I come in, I don't give up the West, you know, my lad. Never to go back, you know. So I just threw a thing going with, with I, man, Empress and, and her family. You know, I had to send my empress forward and then even I had to go again for them. That's why I returned the first time to the West, you know, to go back for them, to bring them back home. So when I come home the second time, I said, nah, man, I have to safeguard myself, never to leave this place again. You see it? So I was on that mission and that woman, the day I was even moving from the woman, she bring her people, them, immigration, something where you're not doing in Africa, Jack. Especially in Zimbabwe, she did the unforgivable, my lad. One of the unforgivable things amongst the people, you know. But true, me did assure the brethren, said, my lad, you can't do things like that. Because the brethren got to him, him empress and said, no, um, this is the priest and the priest is going to stay here. And, you know, just for a short while. And, you know, just a dictate to the woman and the woman never, she never please. You understand? She never want us there. You know what I mean? And the bridging forced it, the issue and said, no, bridging, I know, so you do it. No, we're going to move to another place. And the, no, man, I me And I said, my lord, your, your empress don't want us. You see, when you go to work, your empress give my empress trouble. She don't want us here, so let us move, my lord. So this man was persistent that no, nothing don't go like that. You understand? So the woman did some wicked things, and that was the final, you know what I mean? Straw night, my lord, and she, she bring in the authorities right in our room where we're staying and through the password was up. Yeah, you know, I faced a persecution. You know what I mean? And true now, I'm an empress because I was willing to fight the thing, you know, but true for them law, all them last year, you know what I mean? Yeah, to just work with it for the sake of even I'm an empress and the children. You see it? So I had to go through that kind of injustice, you know what I mean, to go even back to the West, you know what I mean? Yeah, so we find ourselves back in the West. So we're the honorable priest, we're there. Um, cause the eye, I say a whole heap of things, you know, I just let the eye flow still. But what you're saying to I, you know, that you've been deported out of um, Africa, that is what you say? Yeah, yeah, man, we got through that, my lad, in Zimbabwe, you know. Yes, my lad, because it was the only way, really, you know what I mean? Because I, man, being inside couldn't really help my family outside, you see, just So that was really the best decision at that moment, you know what I mean? It look yeah, away because for, I could have been stealth. It look away if you're African and get deported out of Africa still, I just, you know, I just, you know, it look away to I, and, um... I know them might have you know seen us as um westerners because we're not born upon the continent you know we're born in the west you see but i think this is where um african leaders have to change how they view us in the west 
You understand? And and what they need to do for us as as Africans in the West. Zin? Because it's them that need to do these things, you know. They are the ones that have to change rules or laws or or, or come up with policies that is going to aid us who is coming home from the diaspora. You know what I mean? Because there's no way on the planet, I and I as Africans who have been through this um, um, transatlantic slave trade or sub-Saharan slave trade, whatever it may be, we shouldn't have to now face this injustice coming home. You know, so I think this is where, you know, Africa, the African Union um, need, to, need to come in play and also individual African um, states need to change their policies and, 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 and how, they, um, how they deal with us in terms of immigration. You know what I mean? We should, we should have free Why passage. Not? You know, we should have free passage anywhere in Africa we go. Um, especially us that is coming from the West. It should be, it should be special um, um, knowing that the things them that we have been through um, is not, uh, uh, it, 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 not a case where we know exactly where in Africa that we, 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 we might directly come from. We could have come from Zimbabwe. We could have come from um, Tanzania. We come, could have come from Ghana. We don't know exactly. You understand? So we should have this special thing where us in the diaspora as African, we're free to go anywhere in Africa once we touch upon the soil. Yes, my lord, a natural word say I say, man. A reality the man I say, my lord. And um should they never want Marcus Gavi in the land. Them definitely no want King Emmanuel in the land. You see, General. So the man said we fit just obedient and abide by the laws of the land. You know, although we know say we in the colonial you know, a, a, a colonial ruling, you know, in the land. You know what I mean? So the reality is that them set in place all these things for keep eye and eye out. You know what I mean? So I man see it still that, you know, we take it like a badge of honor too, you know? Yeah, because we know say we know come and do wrong in the land and we come for do right and righteousness. And if it is for that reason, you know, I, I, I deport people. Yeah, we take it, my lad, but you know right. But them not have the things in place like you said, my lad. And more time is like that. We have to be on the ground for even change these things. Because if we not bring up the discussion, the discussion not did it. Mm. And you understand, no one now go bring true. up that kind of discussion on our behalf. True, true. You understand? So, it, yeah, so more time if we not initiate these kind of discussion for we people abroad, for when them come home that they can be recognized, whether as returnees or, you understand, or, you know, like prisoners of war, you understand, or, you know, Holocaust survivors, you understand, Majesty, then if, if we not agitate for these things, you know, and the people then this side don't agitate for these things, you understand, then these things now go, you know what I mean, in the laws them now go change, so we have to get to these people them, we change these colonial laws where no no benefit I and I it only benefit the people then we make up these laws. You understand by law? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's a it's a serious work. So with that understanding, we still penetrate the thing. You see, cha? And we, we try to go anywhere possible where we could have but the man say wise as a serpent and humble as a dove. So we know, say, are we are the, the true enemies, are few deadly enemies. You understand? And we know, say, are we personally the members and the saints and the apostles and the priests and the prophets are facing the greatest persecution? You understand? Silently in a way, because that's why I have enough man quiet. I know I taught the truth, because we know what happened to man when man taught the truth. We've seen what they have done to guard Marcus Messiah Giavi. The, the right honorable prophet, the man who shows us God in flesh in Ethiopia. We've seen what they have done to the man. Although the man should be the president of the 
the black world nation, wealth nation. Them throw the man in a tombs prison, my lad. You understand the capitate the man. You understand the movement then, the head of the movement. You understand, Majesty. So we have seen what they have done to King Emmanuel, how they beat the man brutally, you know, how they published many times the man dead, you know, what the man fears. You know, as the, the truth speaker, the redeemer, the reformer, you know, the man will come agitate for his people. You understand? You see what they have done to Emperor Ali Selassie, my lad, and many more ones who speak the truth are there to stand up for the truth. So it have even enough man quiet. Dare not speak the truth, cause what? Speak the truth and see what go on. Stand up for the right and see what go on. Dear to be a Daniel and see what go on. You understand? So it have enough man a quake and a shiver. Yeah, afraid. You understand? I in a them corner. You understand? Yeah. But you know, but right to now, the, test now. The, the corner thing now I'm going to do it because man in a them corner just, you are going dead. Man are going dead if them, if them not come together and stand. I know say, oh, we, you know, oh, we them after, you know. Mm -hmm. You understand? And now we have to bring the, the world to our right. So we can't pretend, my lord, and then I know sky like, out of the sky, we are going to be safe. But we have to go save ourselves. And that Most need natural. dialogue. You need reasoning. You need, you need, you know what I mean? You need us to, to, to understand what freedom is. Ultimate freedom. You understand? Yeah. Repatriation and redemption. That means we don't need nothing else. So just to galvanize this. Inf we have to talk to we people. And get we people them to understand what we want. So I will leave our work. Majesty, I will leave our work. I will leave our work for we for do, you know? So we have to just move. That's why you see even I and I right now. Let me say my lord, we, we just want I and I for move as an army. For move as... You know, we, we are not no secret society, you know, but we are we are family of Christ. We're we're peculiar. You understand? We're you understand? We're a brotherhood. We're an army. You understand? So at time now, man, we just uh get sense now and know say, my lad, a King Emmanuel way win out. King Emmanuel way win out. So no other way no way not. Like we are saying mark the perfect man and be all the upright at the end of that man is peace. So we just have to know say the man that the perfect man. Man monks we perfect. My you man. understand man in our flesh and blood. So the man say be perfect even as I am perfect. Even be holy even as I am and is holy. You understand? So we just have to do what the general say. And start play around and, and just know I said this is a holistic oneness. We have to defend one another. So the members of this Congress, it's up to us. And if we not do it, we are got dead. You know, so me know and I did dead thing, my lord. I rather see the freedom, redemption, repatriation of Africa with my own eyes. Rastafari. You understand, my lord? Yeah. That we depend on you know, my life, you see this thing with your own eyes. That's why the man always say freedom, redemption, repatriation, no and no. You know? Yeah. So let's see how the first. Yes, I. Not sure. All right, true, honor God, the priest. Could... Yeah, sorry. Sorry, my lad. What? No, got you. <laughs> Bless it. Yeah, yes, I. Get... Give thanks. Um, the idea you now in, in, in um, South Africa and thing, couple of years now, see it? Um, True. How, how much priest is there in South Africa? Currently, you have four priests, my Lord Majesty, here in South Africa, you know? The I and That I know. The I and O. Well, I, Honorable Priest Advar, Honorable Priest David, Honorable Priest Murdoch, Honorable Priest Moja, my lord. Okay. Rastafari. All right, um, Honorable Priest Moja, I, 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 I heard some, some disturbing, some very disturbing um, news. You know, uh, some very disturbing news, my lad, coming, coming um, 
out of South Africa about um, Priest Jamoja. Priest Jamoja is a virgin that um, I know personally from here in, a, in, in, in a the UK. See, before him even get priesthood. See? Um, My Lord. Talk, talk to me about what, what, what the I know of of the incident that that happened there because I, I hear that it's more than one incident that took place with um the honorable priest jamoja yeah well like you say you know it's a it's a one away family and um it's an unfortunate you know thing we go on my lord and it's a horrific thing to and you know it's a family it's a sensitive thing even with the family still, you know, and yeah, we see the investigation are going to see him where, you know, so yeah, man, we, we, we lose our sister, as you know, um, Virgin lose him, him, him empress to, to violence, you know, and, you know, wow. this violence is a prevalent thing. We are going all over the world, so it's a show we a wake up call to you know that's why you see say even now we have to take the thing to another level within the agitation you know if you, if you make one noise we, we now no more time because who feels it knows it so you understand why one just feel like time did it you understand people are lose life and all them thing that you know what i mean and me now say you know i feel we fault or you know what i mean but if we not do what we fit do, my lord, sometimes some things can reach we were really unfortunate. So yeah man, this is one I think we don't know if it's uh, more than my lord, you know. It was a great loss. You know I say, you know, yeah, the Empress, you know, a one coming and violate the Empress, the weird and the family and the priest and you know, and the Empress lose her life, my lord, so so, Bobo, um, yeah. I, I, I know it, it is sensitive and pardon me, I never really want to put the eye in a position here still, Zane, but um, um, the Empress is not, for, for I, I never know the Empress and um, I've never met her, Zane, but as I say, I know the Honorable Priest, um, uh, I know the Honorable Priest, so the Empress for I is no different from Empress uh, Sharon, Zane, who lose her life recently um, in, 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 in a Jamaica, Boba Hill. Um, the Honorable Priest Jamoja, Zane, go through his affliction. is no different, is no different um, from Honorable mm. Priest, um, Priest Edley that gone missing. Zane, so I just want the eye to explain because here people need to know and, and it's not everybody really know Zane that these things happen and, and, and is happening and the more hearts, positive minds and thoughts we have a push, a positive energy towards the priest right now because you know uh, I, I, I can't even start imagine what you know that bridging is going through right now. So I think it's important, you know, whatever the I can share with us about what took place, uh, I think it's imperative, Honorable Priest. Yeah, man, give thanks, my lack. We know it's a whole heap of concern, angels, that may I say, you know, um, you know, the, the priest. Go through a thing, my lad, with them family. And, yeah, man, really, you know, it, it's an unfortunate event, you know what I mean? And as of something where we are trying still more, try to keep it in house within, you know what I mean? I know everything out there, we spread out there still, you know what I mean? But um, in our reality, my lad, is, is the, the priests are recovering, we are giving the time there recuperate car you know like that i say uh, uh yeah something like two incidents go on 
and uh, you know some intruders come in and the, you know the priest even was wounded you know and when they come again you know what i mean yeah the empress you know i wasn't there still but from what the priest you know even show i the empress did you know they do come in again and you know them just nothing to justify them action my law you know so just wickedness them, them, you know them, what i mean so them rob the it's priest. just a thing where they rob the priest one time and they come back a second time and the second time they come back them they murder the priest's wife yeah yeah that is terrible yeah my lord no condolence yeah, to, condolence to the priest my lord you know condolence to the priest right. and the priest's family yeah. and extended family you know what I mean of his is 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 um empress you know what I mean uh, I can't even you know these little youths or you know how they're dealing with that trauma my lord and imagine that you you know you come home to Africa you you have to deal with this type of thing it is it is channel Terrible. Yeah, man, uh, Africa, real man, and it it horrible, my lad, cause you know Jamaica, real too, and Trinidad, real, and Bahamas, real, and America, real, and everywhere we are face it, my lad, and and anywhere it can go like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, so this way, Emmanuel come and show is a perfect way. My Lord, for guard, for guard, we, we, we best security to guard with life. You know what I mean? And when we go out from that, my Lord, even when we come home and we don't have that, yeah, we're, we're a little vulnerable out there. Cause I say, my Lord, out of this is just murderers and sorcerers and adulterers and, you know what I mean? Yeah, iniquity workers, you know? Yeah, so we, we need really to protect ourselves, my lad, you know. So the lesson where we are learned is that we can't lose no more. You know what I mean? So we have to hurry up and do what the, the general say we must do, my lad. You know what I mean? So every day counts, you know. So I even I am one more time, I, I although I want to live forever, I live every day like it's my last. And I try to do everything as much as I can in each day as possible. You know what I mean? Because I know how valuable life is, you know, as a youth where enough time get even my my own physical freedom being taken away from I. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't take this thing for granted. You see it and, and as a minister of life now where where is here to see of life and to minister life and to and to save people from, you know, from dying. And we don't want to see this no more, my lad. We can't, like me, I say, now myself, it just reached so close. And where the priest is so closer, you know what I mean? It's so closer to him, but to even Iman is so close. Empress Sharon is so close. Priest Headley is so close. You know, Priest Ryan is so close, you know. You know, and all, you know, the other priests where them killing at Jamaica. You know what I mean, my lord? Yeah, man, the yes, thing, the, the, the thing. Yeah, yeah, my lord, I come away now. So we are saying, how much more we are going to lose before we put ourselves together for the, the benefit of our collectiveness of we one another, collective security of we one another. Oh, how much longer do we have to wait? And who really feel like they can stop this Congress? My Lord, from fulfilling what he needs to fulfill. Like, no one in I man view can stop us, you know, my Lord, only we self. You know, so we, my Lord, we have to just put our heart together, our mind together to do this thing this year, because the man, the man, and not, not stop we. So we need the community, just like we have a bubble ill, that the thing perfect, you know, Emmanuel thing perfect, my Lord. It's perfectly organized. Is perfectly structured. It's perfectly dear to fulfill what it, it says, what its aims and objectives, you know, are to be fulfilled. 
the this order set in a perfect way. You understand? So I and I just have it. We can like say like we don't have it while we have it. You understand? And and I use what we have properly. You know what I mean? For the, the, the this freedom I are we people. Who can stop this, my lord? Who dare stand in front of this and say them are gonna hold down this? Or them are gonna try to sabotage this? Or them are gonna try to hold this as hostage? You know what I mean? Them are figure gonna move, my lord. I don't care who it is. No man, no woman can stop this because this what King Emmanuel rises for the freedom, redemption, repatriation of his people. You understand, my lad? Yeah. So we, we have to do this, my lad. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, you know, this thing just uh, is another drive, like how oh, you yeah, say it's imperative. You know? Yeah, that is what my, my, my parents name me, you know. They, they call me imperative. Advar means imperative. It must be done. You see, Ja? Yeah, it must. We have to drive that home, general. That's why the man say what? Keep your eye on the prize, my lord, and don't lose focus because everything is here to just to distract us from this. And if we all focus on this, we're all happy. We're all hiring. You understand? But for now, we, we have to secure ourselves properly in you know, the order and make sure the order run properly wherever it is, wherever it is to be established. We have to make sure say, it will run we, keep, we go from one to two, and if we can go one, two, simultaneously, we do it. But let's start from one to two. You understand? So we have to go see everything Emmanuel taught us, like Moda said, is, is for this time. Everything Selassie taught us for this time. Marcus Garvey taught us it was for this time. But in their time, they just showed us that it can be done. You understand? And they leave us the black print. So when we go away from that now, the understanding to come forward to I and I consciousness and no man, we are go away from the only thing we can save us and is able to save us. And we all need to endorse and promote this way. I know said so this is the only way. You understand? We not defend no other way. You understand? And I don't look at the outsiders. You know, like to say still to come because we are weird upon those who are still to come. But give thanks for who is here and who we see. So it's going to start with us. You understand, my lad? So we have to go get back to that brotherhood. We have to go get back to that love. We have to go get back to, to see that our HQ is running up, that we can transfer that HQ to Africa and make sure that Africa HQ is running and make sure the branches are running and the branches to make sure the HQ is running and make sure Africa is running. So everything must move in one, my love, one accord, one unity. So we in South Africa, we have land. You see it. We have some priests. We have some prophets. We mustn't play around with this thing neither. Because this is what they need here in South Africa. Because it's, look how much youths almost lose them life, even as we not talk about what happened to you know, the priests and the priest empress. But even others mm -hmm. are just fortunately ones and ones who lose them life, but them get battered and chop up and enough things are going on, my lad. You see? Yeah. So this place is not an a easy place, but again, it's by design. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I and I have sympathy. We're sympathetic with what go on in Jamaica, in America, in Canada, but more so what go on in Africa. I know they turn it up in Africa, the wickedness, the Satanism, the, the, the drugs, the, 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 the miseducation. The, you understand? The dumb, you know, the dumb mm -hmm. and dumb are the people. So all these things have an effect. And, uh, and this disaster that is about to bust, and it's already bust, it's been bust, but now the media have a way to, to, to don't highlight these things, you understand, and don't bring it to the realization of the people, them consciousness, say, this is what's really happening, but who who's on the ground feels it and knows the reality. So when we're here, my love, we know, say, yo, we're in a serious war. We're in a serious 
back up after war and this side is not no no easy place you see because here these people still owe 90 percent of the land my lord 90 percent and this place is is humongous is grand is large on a large scale just this this free state alone you understand but my lord majesty if you ever see the scale of property if you ever see what go on so we can't even blame the people them but while we are here we know we have to work guard we self we have to have everything up we fence up we have to make sure we have a guard up although we are run the salvation we have to run the thing with with, with security love with security so this every man right now whether you're on the ill of the ill woman child you're vulnerable your elders are vulnerable no one not see us so we until we met that that thing to say one for all all for one it's a village that raises a child you understand and really you know that action of love you know see that love and put that love into action and see you know what i mean live that love meaning we love the elders we love the babies we love the empress we love the one another we have to stand for one another because if we don't stand for ourselves who's going to stand for us something now come out come out the sky to save us my lord not now come out of no sky my lord to save us so this reality thing my lord is is what we're dealing with the god of reality the reality will go on in africa in the south you dare not come to the south because if you come to the south you have to know you have to prepare and you can't run away because if you don't come here then you just leave these people to go with their thing and just kill off the whole of the people so then no delegation man have to go come like how the father said i hear my lord you understand so it's more than just we wanting to be in africa we're a volunteer ethiopian this is our life and if we're not there in africa with their bubble ill but the father somehow he don't want i and i at bubble ill somehow the father say my lord i'm with you i want you to go to africa you understand and then put us not in the the coziest place you have go africa me go arusha tanzania I go to Ethiopia, I go retire there in a Uganda, some special place in a Gambia, some Irish place in a Ghana. The man has a man put you in the apartheid, is it, my lord? Settlers, where them seat up, like this place is, is, a, is like to say it's, a, it's another wonder because South Africa is the same, European them. But now these European them compete with America for suck out the resources out of Africa. So you might have America one, China two, and South Africa three. You see, so them you South Africa to go in and the whole other places in Africa. Them alone can move around and do, you know, resources there, resource fly around, free trade. Them alone can get um African passport to fly around Africa. You understand? Cause them have you understand them have billions in their account and them alone this thing is is their playing field my lord and we're not we're not we don't know and we think say no th these people want to lock off the whatever is going on in the rest of africa must not going on here you understand this is not africa you know this is another um first world in africa but second world in the world but you know it's it's not africa you understand so we, while you're fighting for the rest of Africa, you, you make this place go to and you don't understand this place. You can't just load this place to go to these people, cha, -cha. And apartheid never finish, right? So the apartheid that we know is not finished, it has transformed and the people now must forgiven these barbaric people. These people don't owe black people nothing. They're uh, led off the hook. Desmond Tutu let them off the hook. Reconciliation, forgive them for all the atrocities that they have done. You know, they killed Chris Honey, they killed Steve Biko, forgive them. You understand, they kill all your sons, put them in unmarked graves and forgive them. 
You understand? Let them be. All we want is votes. You understand? Throw away your guns. Throw away. So these people are hopeless. They're left hopeless, my lad. So I have a real sympathy for South Africa. My lad, my heart is with these people. Majesty. Not that it's not with other people in other region, but it's like an enemy where Jonah gets sent to and him no one go. But hopefully in at the end you go and the people them, you know, up to the leadership would I say, yes, man, a true year talk, man, we give thanks, my lord. You know, we have to turn to the, the God of Ethiopia, the God of Africa. We have to turn to the black Christ. We have to turn to the, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, we have to love. So yes, we're sir. here, my lord. And that, yeah. True, true, God. Yeah man, give thanks. Give thanks, Bobo, for the you know, the man, you know, in the land and you know, he able to you know to give such um report and their experience, you know, so and for you know from you know from the continent, you know, now the I reside reside there full time. And um yeah, is yeah, I give thanks that the eyes dear my lord and you know can really give an account, you see. Um and to even help ones who are forwarding, you know, to equip themselves, um their mindset, you know, and and you know, how to prepare for forward. So give thanks, my lord, that you know the eye is one of the items dear that you know is a living testimony of what is you know what is happening my lord we give thanks yeah my lord our glory to jai you know uh, at in zion you know thanks for the father making all things possible yeah man without him you know yeah man you see nothing could be possible but with him you know all things could be possible my lord so <laughs> Yeah, yes, God glorify yeah. my lord. Cause we see the world like a big prison, you know. So we're not, we're not really to have it like a fantasy Africa. We can't go anywhere in the world for this, you know. But we see Africa as the, the prize, you know, and the goal. So that's why, you know, we more would I be here in other land, my lord. But we're not afraid to go anywhere where the, the black Christ said to go. Because we, we don't have it on a super superstition level, you My know what Lord. I mean? Yes, sir. Yeah, we know that Africa is not free, and we know that we don't have no repatriation. So we take it up as a volunteer, and we're not afraid to go anywhere. And we're not afraid of Babylon, and we're not afraid when wicked men can do it. You understand, my lad? So My we, Lord. So we're confident in our self and in our God, you know, say the victory is nigh, you know, freedom is a must. Africa must be free from Cape to Cairo, Timbuk 1 to Timbuk 2. So I and I, my lad, you know, know said this is where every black man Africa end up and woman if they want to save themselves. So it's better to come in and try build something, even for the people when they are coming. Can be I and I are coming same way, you know, with children, we have something for them. Because we don't have nothing in the West where we can claim and where we can own. You see, my lad, it's just an illusion. All is vanity. You know what I mean? So we, we don't see no reality in that. You understand? But we more see the reality. We make time and room for niggas, you know? And make time and room for this, this you know? This journey where we depend from lowland to island. You know, for free yourself. You know what I mean? Cause when we free yourself, we are irony. You know? So everything else coming like, well, yeah, it's um, yeah, we just had to do it. You know, on the journey to free yourself, but we 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 have to push, man. It's like we are war back and we too comfortable and we too iry in our corner, and we now see the we are can see this thing and it's like we are waiting for someone else to come and fix this thing while we not see it myself. So me I say in the man when him, when you first go a bubble ill you know, and you declare whether you come in, whether you have to write declaration before you are prophet, right? And you know, 
the, the man asks you your occupation, where you come from, you know what? You know what I mean? The man asks you question and you declare, you know what I mean? So the man never say, you, you feel stop do your work out there. Eh? If you are work out in a Babylon and you are police, you understand? Or what? You know what I mean? And the man never come and ask you, you know what I mean? Like, you must stay here forever. You know? But him ask those who, who want to stay with the man till time of redemption to abide. You understand? And who can go and come, go and come. But now when the man tried, uh, no one not did if he abide again to see this freedom redemption. So the thing just break down. You understand? And when the thing break down like this, it's going like we're not organized when we have the full... We have everything where we need, my lord. And we just know, we sit where we all go wrong, my lord. And we say, no, my lord. It's up to us. So true, me not Africa, no. Me not too able. Like, me not see myself like as a man to, to leave Africa willingly for coming in the West unless things really set the way they for I, man. You understand? But if I was in the West, you know, my lord, without a doubt, me have to go at one of the branches, them. Me have to go at HQ. Me have to, you know, me can't just sit down in a place where nothing not go on. And if me sit down there, me have work, me have to make sure say me 10% I go to the Congress. No matter what, no, if I, but me not ask what this money is going to be used for. Because that money must be, it's God. And God must know what I'm going to do with the money. You understand? So we just have to kind of make sure, say, we think up and running to a level where we have accountability. But we, man, as the people, them, man, the members of this Congress, we now give the Congress a justice. And I tell the I the truth, my lad. As a, upon a, a large scale, members who come to this, we now, we now give the thing a justice. You know, so them thing, them would have, like, really talk about, you know, for real, we are talk about how we can put this thing together, my lad, and mm. solution. You know, because like me, I say, manual thing is a is a perfection order, and the manual go through everything for I and I and stand up for I and I. Send man go to Africa for I and I. You know, leave to our hear it. The manual leave ticket money or when him him put on him structure so. The man rise up in parliament. The man rise up a committee. The man be a leading priest. Man from, 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 you know what I mean? Like, cast away people, mm -hmm. you know? You know, people will not have no value out there. The man transform them into mighty man, you know? Beast man and beast. The man just make we a people of Christ. You know, the man be we. Dust we are, clean we up, you know. The man have him psalms reading, my lad, you know. From the international guard, the man have him international guard, another seven, you know, seven man. They are the guard those, upon the watch 24-7, you know. The man have him, him, him hour, six o'clock, upon that hour, you know, trumpet or so you see, upon the hour, oh, I know, my lad, 6, 12, 6 in the evening again, 6 in the morning, Psalms reading, I read 7 Psalms continuously. You know, the man, the man have him gate house, the man have him kitchen, the man have him office, the man have him all, the man have him tabernacle. You see, my lad, the man say, we the people stand above all governmental, statical, churchical, parliamental, sabbatical. You see it above all, my lord, organization. You know, the man Bill we not, if we know about skill, the man give us a skill. You know, the man, if we know if we read, the man Bill we so we can know if we read. If we don't know about herbs, the man Bill we not the, you know, the bush doctor thing, the man Bill us by every level, make we know we serve. The man have them Sabbath around accordingly. You see, the man have a right up. You know, seven priests on the altar, backup priests, you have musician right up, four banner man, you know, everything in order, my lord, perfection, you know, my lord, the man of us organized and centralized.
the man of the school room to the highest, the same school room where Marcus Giave say, my leave Jamaica figure, get some strength and some energy from Booker T. Washington. I'm so inspired by Booker T. Washington, the man of build up school in America. You see, and the man will come and fulfill these works. A Marcus Messiah Giave, Marcus Giave was a well organized man. Organized down to the T, my lord. You see, and King Emmanuel still take this thing on another level. The man, Marcus Garvey, gathered the most people in our world in our one organization. This man gathered the most races to this date internationally. You understand? In a one conference, my lord. The most races in a, the world will ever gather a King Emmanuel Majesty. You see, from that conference, the man will stop, organize, and build the network for Africa redemption, repatriation, freedom movement. You see, it's so it's a full organize. The man of us organized down to the team, my lord. Oh, we pray. Oh, you know, timing. When for sweep yard, when not for sweep yard. The, the man of us born clockwork, my lord. And we leave this, Jaja. I know say we leave this and no good no come out of it. We, we, we not leave it fully. We leave many of us abandon the thing, the foundation, the headquarter, and gone out there in a various parts of the world, which is good again. But now we say, say at the world, the man did a car with auto, so now we say, say, okay, we did have to go out and do our work, but now we have to come back and, and we gather and we rally with self again into the, that one unit where work and when when we're strong all three hundred, three thousand man in a one place, you know. Yeah man, are your your people to be reckoned with. So we not see with self like that. We see with self no we, we must be scattered and weak here and we be there. But we give thanks cause we know the works we have got through because it did have to go through for that time. But I, I, I still know, you know, you know you know, you know, you know, you know, like merit, I and I, if you continue in that way, like we not see what works and what don't work, we're just going to still continue in this way. Yes, it's for a reason, but now we have to bring back myself together and get gummy and know that we are move as one. That's we are move as one and everything in our one bongo. You see, so anything we need to get done, we do it. And sometimes a man have to go wait him turn. I know your turn yet. We have to go deal with this first. And then from this, we go to this. You see? So every man now, my love, we need every man, every member to be able to come now and sit down. So we need a time and a space to come and sit down. So we are we are we are put out there like March in a March, even March, March fifth, one of them did a March fifth is a Sunday, you know. That day would be a great day if you have an international reason, reasoning amongst I and I as members and try to get everyone involved. Because sometimes we are doing a thing and we are doing a thing here, but we not get everyone involved. We have a reasoning here, but some people might feel left out. So the way we have to go organize yourself is in a, you know, organize unity. We don't just say unity, we have to go organize the unity. You see, and we, we have to go, you know, endorse ourselves to be able to organize that unity. We have to go put an organized committee together to say, yes, my Lord, you have the permission to organize this unity and make sure that every member of the Congress is involved on this time, on this date. Who cannot be here face to face, they must be able to, to link um, via internet. We don't put the internet first. We put the face to face first, and the internet as a as a sub um sub medium to link up everyone who cannot be at HQ, who cannot be at the branches, who cannot be at the office, but they're still anywhere they are. They can be, you know, a part of such reasoning. You understand? And put that together, and make everyone say, "Yeah, man, that is a good approach." And who do don't like that approach come and let us reason it out maybe there's a better approach you understand so i man it's just anywhere anywhere bobo is i will go there and say my lord 
yo, what about March 1st? How you see it about that time? We can't come and reason and, and, and put with things on my side with differences and come now. And the, 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 the heart where we have to see this Congress, you know, function properly to to the standard where we would have like it. Let us all, we, we all can come together and reason on that, you know? We yes, have to unite with the yes, things sir. that bring us together, my Lord. The things that separate us. We don't have to deal with them things, my Lord. Majesty. Most not you see? So that's why you see right now, a man is, is on this, this cry for I and I and a, and, a, and a mobilization of our members. You see? Yeah, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you set yourself a move. And if you can't move in your area where you're there, set yourself a link up with other members, especially for one specific time and date, that we don't set ourselves that we could have be present in such a reasoning that can be organized. You understand? Because we are the most, we are taught to be organized. We're in, we're in a perfect organized order. We bring freedom, redemption, you understand repatriation, debt to our black and white oppressors. So we now have this thing to play with. So I just saw I man the kind of right now, my lord. My lord, my lord. Yes, Bobo. Well said, my lord. And you know, I hear the eye sound and we give thanks that um this won't fall on and death is, you know. So give thanks again, honorable priest. It's been an honor. And it's been a pleasure. I know there I have a lot to say, but um, we are gonna keep some of the I have to say, pan pan the rebound. You see me? I say because there I said a lot today. You see me? So we give thanks. Say you know all good things said and done, elvers, and we 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 look forward. We look forward for the betterment of um, the upliftment of I and I as, as a people going forward. So, all powers, blessing, and prosperity, and dominion, my Lord, um, for the I, you know, and the I family, and, you know, all goodness, and the I endeavors, my Lord, you know. My Lord. Yes, Bobo. yes, honorable God. Yeah, man, we give thanks for the opportunity again and um, give thanks for this EABIC Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress again and again. We give thanks for this worthy founder, leader, President God and King. And we give thanks, you know, for this man, our, our leader, King Emmanuel Charles Edwards, the Black Christ in flesh. We give thanks for what this Congress stands for, its objective, you know, aims and objectives are freedom, redemption, repatriation. Man say each man under his or her own vine and fig tree. Man say Africa for Africans, China for China, Europe for the Europeans, and India for the Indians. Man say Arawak, you know, is for Jamaica and, you know, not for I and I, but I and I is Ethiopian, so that's I and I nationality. One said Joel chapter 3, Micah chapter 4, Isaiah chapter 40 and 3. So I and I give thanks, my Lord, for this Congress. You know, like I say, we the people stand above our organization, statical, churchical, governmental, parliamental, and sabbatical, you know. So we have to just go on, you know, build yourself, build back the, the family structure, where them take with altar. And, you know, you know, King Emmanuel come to restore such structure, so... Yeah, man, I man, word is just, you know, that, you know, all members work in one perfect love and cooperation with each other, you know, to see that the Black Christ, the Black Ethiopia, Black International Congress is functioning, you know, to its fullness on all levels, my lord, statically and churchically, governmentally, parliamentally, sabbatically, you know. So we give thanks, my lord, for the modern day freedom fighters which are I and I the scenes of today and we have to know say a dread out there and a tago dreader and a red and a tago redder and we're back gone through the wall now just with head sticking out so we not have no more excuses it's time that we do with our might what our hands find to do all for one one for all you know you know and we're all one indeed you know 
So we give thanks for the eye, my lord, for this golden opportunity, same way. And, you know, we're going to keep the link, continue the reasoning, you know, yes, and continue the building, my lord. Well, Emmanuel, I. Selassie. I. Ja. Ja. Rastafari, my lord. Yes, yes joyful angel, you know. <laughs> love, yes, love, God my lord. <laughs> yes, Bobo. Yes. All of the love, my lord, and yeah, we will link in at the light, honorable priest. Yeah. All right, my lord. Give thanks again, my lord, and I have a blessing night also, and peace and love to the eye and the eye audience and the eye listeners and. You know, more prosperity, my lord, you know, for even the new year approaching um, February 7th and the Christmas January 1st and March 1st, you know. So, enough, yes, enough joy and happiness to the man, my lord, and the I, whatever endeavors the I, you know, undertake, my lord. Peace and love. Bless the Lord. Give thanks, honorable priest. Peace and love. Rastafari. Yes, I. Yes, honorable family. Yeah, man, right there, sir. Um, we are going to seal it. The eye them can um, reason with I and I within the comment section. Let me know your views, your thoughts, and what's been said here today. Yeah, man, manners and respect to the right honorable priest, Advar, out there in Anzania, um, otherwise known as South Africa. Zin and Zania. Yeah. So more love, more strength, honorable family. Yeah man. Manners and respect. Peace and love. Rastafari. <laughs>